Sri Lanka is facing a deep economic crisis and after the appointment, it's been nearly over two to three weeks since the appointment of Mr. Ranul Bikrame Singhi, who's joining us exclusively here on NDTV to talk to us about what's really changed ever since his appointment. Well, thank you, sir, for joining us here on NDTV. Firstly, my question is in terms of, you know, if you're seeking help apart from India, and what's the status in terms of our neighbor, India, here? India has been really stepped in. They're helping us. Because of the help you've given us, we can I think, survive till we finalize the discussions with the IMF. I wish we were not in this situation, but unfortunately, we have come into the worst situation in our history, which I think has not taken place in the last 300 years. How long, you know, this distress that you're talking about, the economic distress, how long did it take to bring Sri Lanka to this state? It took about two years, from about 2020. Do you blame this completely only just about COVID? Do you think it's only COVID? No, it's not COVID. It, 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 uh, a lot of countries have picked up after COVID. It is just bad management of the economy. Economy. Mm -hmm. Will that be corrected? What do you see? We have corrected. There is no other option. Have you analyzed the situation over the last, ever since you have taken over the Prime Minister? Well, I've been analyzing it from the time I ceased to be Prime Minister last time. Okay. So w w what's in terms of, you know, you have been reaching out to the IMF as well. Yes. So what is the status of that? Well, we've had the premium discussion. The staff level has to take place. I think they'll be coming this month and we should be able to conclude quickly. Finally, what would you like to uh, tell to the people of uh, Sri Lanka here, the citizens? Well, what I would like to tell the people of Sri Lanka is firstly, we must thank India for the help they have given us. Uh, secondly, let's get through this crisis, economic and political. We can make it and we can build a better future. That better future that you spoke about, would you like to give that, you know, the, uh, uh, the responsibility, if at all, youth come forward? Because Certainly. they are the ones on the street. Certainly, it's their future, more than any of us. So they should have a say, they should have the biggest voice in determining mm -hmm. how the country will run after we, uh, we overcome the crisis. Well, thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on NDT.